Hi, let's mod the funny 3DS Miku game. So for starters, we're gonna need Citra Emulator and a decrypted CIA of Project Mirai DX. I'll put one in the description, but if it gets taken down, um, do it yourself. So we're gonna go download Citra, just download that, do the whole install setup thing, I don't care. <laughs> then once you have that, open up Citra, go to file, install CIA, and then install the ROM. It'll take a sec. There we go. First things first, we gotta right click on Project Mirai and then click dump ROM FS. And now it gives you all the stuff you dumped. So go to PV first, scroll all the way down, go to PV DB EN. So in here is all the lyrics and then other song data and then the characters that can be used in the songs. So Let's use the first song for example. We can scroll down and then we'll see unlock player one Miku. And if you hate Miku, you can just change it to Luca. Like so. And the character names, they can only be three letters. So Kaito is Kai, Gumi is Goom, Meiko is Mei, Miku is Meek, and then Rin and Len. So once you change your character, you can hit save and then we can move it to the mods folder. So close this, and then we're gonna copy the PV database, and then we're gonna go right click, open mods location, and then we make a file called ROM, nope, okay, ROMFS, and then make another folder titled PV, and then you just paste it in there. Now load up the game, and if you did it correctly, it should be changed unless you're stupid and you didn't follow what I said to do. So you got a rhythm game, then that song is all the way down here. And then Luca is in it. Cool idea. Wow, OMG. So cool, wow, okay. Also another thing for songs where you can't change the module, Aku no Musume for example. You can go down and then you can change it from costume change zero to one. And then you hit save. And then you'll be able to change the costume to whatever you want. Okay, now we're gonna be doing textures next. So go on to emulation, go to configure, graphics, down to utility, and then select dump textures. Gonna click okay, and then open up the game. So we're gonna find an outfit we would like to texture. Let's do the sugar soldier uniform. Hit OK. We stop that. And then we right click, go to texture dump location, and then all the textures should be here. And we're gonna want, see this is 256. That's the smaller one where we need the bigger one. So we copy those two. Then we're gonna right click Project Mirai and then go to custom texture location. And then we're gonna wanna paste those and open up whichever art program you use to edit those. I like to use GIMP because it's easier. I'm just gonna make her hair black because easy peasy. Wow, so cool. Okay, we got a file and then we hit overwrite and then we can open up Mirai. And then her hair is black. And I'll do the same thing for her clothes. I'll just make her emo. Overwrite. I'm actually gonna get her eyes too. Make her eyes evil. Overwrite that. And we'll restart the game. And now she's emo. We have an emo Miku now, so cool, but now we run into an issue. Miku's eyes are red on like every model. This is so sad. But we can do something to fix that, which leads into the next part, adding materials, editing OBJ files, and adding your textures to 3DS. So what you'll need for this part is Ohana Rebirth. We're gonna download it. Open file. We're gonna make a little 
a little folder here. We're going to copy that into there. And then we'll also need CTR Studio. Download the latest. Open that up. And then copy the Net60 to your desktop. So the way to navigate this, right click, I open up the texture dump again, I go to dump, ROM FS, game ID, and then I go to new bin. We're looking for the character objects, so scroll down, we'll see like OBJ Goom B, and that's Goomy, this is Kaito, Len, Luca, Mako, Miku, and then Rin down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the body of the Miku we textured earlier. So type in Meek B. Open up Ohana. Then we're gonna just start dragging files in. Oh, there she is. So we're gonna copy Meek224. Then we're gonna type in Miku H224 which is our head for that module. And then we're gonna also need the eyes since we had custom eyes. So we're just gonna go Miku, Miku P. We're just gonna get the first one. Now open up Net60. Gonna go to CTR Studio. We do not care. We're gonna start off with our body first. Wow, cool. Go open up OBJ Miku, go to textures, and then you'll see the texture right there. Go to Mirai, open up custom texture, go grab her texture from here. Just gonna copy that to my desktop. And then we're gonna replace that. And then there we go. Just hit save. And then it'll save that. So now we're gonna copy Miku head and then Miku face. So to get our eyes, we're gonna need to go open up this. Models, Miku P, materials, and then we get the eye material. We're gonna export that just to the desktop. Then we can go to Miku's head. We can go to models, Miku head, materials, and then we import material. Import the eye, and there we go. And then we're also going to need the eye texture, so go to textures, and then hit export. Copy that to desktop. And then import. Cool. We can grab her hair and her eye texture and also copy that to desktop. And we can just replace all of them. Now we go to file, save, and there we go. So now right click, open mods location, and make a new file, new bin. We can place these two in here. We do not need the eyes anymore because they're attached to the head. So then you can run this without using custom textures. So now she's emo, she's still got the red eyes, and now the other Miku's get to keep their blue eyes. Really cool. You'll be able to use these textures on 3DS as well. So if you have a modded 3DS, you can go to your Luma folder, go to titles. I have a lot of titles, but um, you're just going to want to copy the mods one from Citra. You're just going to want to paste it in here and then you'll have them. So easy. Now we can learn how to assign outfits to different Vocaloids. This one is super easy. Just go to the new bin folder, so bin, dump, go to new bin again. Just gonna find an outfit we want. Let's go for Luca. Gonna open up Ohana Rebirth again. Start dragging. Okay, so we're just gonna take this dress. It's Luca 252. Now we'll just look for an outfit we'd like to replace. Let's go with Kaito. Just use his original outfit, I guess. Just copy the name of that and then replace the name of Luca's body. Then we're going to go to Open Mods Location, ROMs, New Bin, 
and then paste that in there. Now we can check out Kaito's cute new outfit. So beautiful. <laughs> you can even replace their head. Like, let's say, Mako. We'll go with that. Copy that. Kaito H01. Rename Mako. Paste that in there. And start. Wow! So the last thing I'll be showing is changing audio. We're gonna need the Citric Composer. I'm gonna download that. Just install that. I already have it installed. And then we're gonna need the audio looping converter. Just download this. Open, make a little folder. And then copy that in there. And then your preferred audio program, I just use Audacity. So we'll go to the dump location again, ROMs, game ID, we'll go to sound stream, and then this is all the audio data. So we're going to be changing the PV audio. So what I like to do to find it easier instead of clicking on them individually is the numbers here are the same songs as in here. So let's do like adolescence as an example. So it's number 64. So we're going to open it up. Yep, okay. Go to edit and then export wave. Just whatever. We're going to find a cover to replace it with. So we're going to replace it with like a Cinder along cover because it's the same song pretty much. Let's do the Gumi and Gakupo version. This person's cool by the way, they make awesome covers. Copy the link and download it however you'd like. So cobalt.tools is cool. And then I also have been using Media Human for like years, so I just do this to get my MP3s. Paste that in there, download. So once that's done downloading, I get this, put it in desktop. Open up your audio program, copy in adolescence, and then copy in the cover, and then we're going to sync them up real quick. It's all synced up now. Get rid of the first one. Export as wave. Save that. Go to looping audio converter. Open don't care. We're gonna place the cover into here, go to output format, make sure you set it to BC STM, and then click start. Once it's done, you can go to output, you'll see the file, then we'll rename it to whatever this is. And then we'll go open mods location, ROMs, make a sound folder, make a stream folder, and then we can go to the output and copy that in there. And now the audio is changed. Cool idea. <sighs> and that's all I know how to do, pretty much. If you want to learn how to like import models or something, you can go to Gino X's guide on like Game Banana. But yeah. Okay, that's all I know how to do. Bye.